What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hope this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a biomedical science graduate and a doctor working in London. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys through how exactly using AI has completely changed the game for me when it comes to writing my essays. Now, although I'm not in university anymore and I'm working as a doctor, I do still do research on the side, which is clinical research in a lab. And therefore I still have to write essays or scientific articles in order to publish my research. And ever since I discovered AI, guys it honestly has really changed the game for me when it comes to actually writing my research articles making it a lot more efficient and also a lot easier to write if you guys want more detail about how to actually write essays i highly recommend you check out my essay writing playlist it has all of the videos that i made on my channel about how to write an essay including one video which went completely viral and has almost a million views and has helped thousands of people writing their essays what i also recommend you guys check out is my online essay writing course it's an entire two hour online course with a bunch of videos telling you guys exactly how I went from not knowing anything about how to write essays all the way up to writing first class essays in my last degrees and also how I write all of my scientific articles up until today. In my essay course, you also get access to my how to write an essay ebook, as well as my second ebook, which has a bunch of exemplar essays that you can use to help you write your essays. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started showing you guys exactly how I've been using AI to actually write my articles. Okay, so the AI platform that I've been using is called ChatGPT. I'm sure you guys have heard about it in other areas. It's super, super useful. If you just go onto the internet and type in uh, chat.openai.com slash, slash chat, um, all you have to do is make a free account. Um, it's super easy to do, and they're not sponsoring this video at all. This is just something I've been really using all the time when it comes to writing my articles. So go to this website, make an account, and essentially down below is the text box. So you can write literally anything here like, hello, um, and it's it's a back and forth conversation with an AI and you can ask it any sort of question you want when it comes to writing essays. So again, kind of like, uh, you know, Siri on your iPhone, you can ask it a question and it will reply to you straight away. So let's now go to the juicy part. How have I actually been using this to write my essays? And I'll show you guys exactly how. However, before we get started, it's really important to realize and note that AI will not write your essays for you and it shouldn't do that. What AI should be used for is not to replace your critical thinking and all the skills that you gain in university when writing your essays, you still wanna be doing that yourself. However, if used properly, it can really help you increase the efficiency uh, in writing your essays and make them much, much better. So don't use it as a replacement for your knowledge and for your hard work, but use it alongside the other resources that you would normally use like Wikipedia or YouTube in order to help you write your essays. And most importantly, please do not use it to plagiarize. All the software the universities use can pick up AI software like ChatGPT. So don't use it to plagiarize, but help it work alongside you to actually improve the way that you write your essays. So the first way that I use uh, ChatGPT in order to start writing my essay is just to get a general understanding of the subject. And that's what I call scoping the subject. So for example, if we have an essay title called The Gut Microbiota in Sickness and in Health, that's actually one of the essay titles I was given in my first year of biomedical science. And I actually sit on my laptop and I think, I have no idea what the gut microbiota actually is. I start doing my research straight away by asking ChatGPT, you know, what is the gut microbiota? The alternative, I guess, about this is, let's say you can go onto uh, Wikipedia and you can just try Google that yourself. But I like using AI because it gives me a nice, concise summary about what I need to know. I, for example, type in, tell me um, about the gut microbiota. It does take a while, so do be patient with it. But as you will see in a few seconds, it will come and literally type out a summary of what the gut microbiota is. And again, that's just helping me scope the subject to get a general understanding of the subject matter that I want to type about. So as we can see here, it's already started generating a response. And it says the gut microbiota, also known as gut flora, uh, refers to the diverse community of microorganisms that inhabit the human GI tract. And then again, it goes down to give you a bunch of functions that the gut microbiota do. And you can see here, it nicely summarizes, you know, the roles of the gut microbiota. So digestion, immune system support, you guys get the picture here, right? It's going to go ahead and write me literally a great summary about the gut microbiota and helps me understand the topic as a whole so that I can literally, you know, start gaining knowledge about the subject before going ahead and doing further research and more scientific research to actually start writing my essay. So now let's say, for example, I have a good understanding of what the gut microbiota is and I'm actually ready to start doing some research to write my essay. Now, of course, um, when you're actually starting to write your essay, you need to use scientific articles. And this is something I've spoken about in my previous videos. But let's say I want to, um, you know, find a bunch 
bunch of scientific articles in order to actually write my essay. What you can use ChatGPT for is, let's say, um, you know, give me um, a good few scientific literature reviews about the gut microbiota. So what I'm essentially asking the AI here is to go ahead and give me some good articles that I can read in order to start gaining knowledge um, of the gut microbiota. And what I'll be doing as well is taking notes of all of these references that this, um, this AI is giving me. So when it comes to writing my um, essay, I, ha I already have like a good way to start, right? I have good number of articles here that I can start referencing and using in order to actually start writing my essay. Okay, so as we can see here, the AI has gone ahead and given me a few examples of scientific literature reviews that I can go ahead and use in order to start doing my research to write this essay. So what you can do is you can take these articles here and paste them into somewhere like Google Scholar, for example, or in PubMed, or wherever you normally find your research articles, or even in Google. You can literally just um, you know paste that in Google and find the paper straight away. And that just saves me time. It stops me from having to go and try find articles myself. It gives me a good few articles to start on in order to write my essay. Now the really cool and scary part is you can actually get ChatGPT to already start giving you a few ideas about how to write um, your actual essay. So what you can say is tell me about the gut microbiota, include scientific um, articles let's say for example. And then what it'll actually go ahead and do is it'll start typing about the gut microbiota and it also will include scientific um, articles for you. Now again, this is not to replace you actually doing the work yourself and you actually writing, but it might be somewhere to give you inspiration and give you an idea about how you can go ahead and start writing um, the actual um, essay yourself. So Again, as you can see here, it's actually writing a lot for me and it's also including scientific articles like you can see over here, which is pretty scary and pretty, pretty cool. Again, I personally wouldn't use this to write the essay myself, but what I might do, like I said, is just use it to give me a brief understanding of how I might go about writing this. Maybe it might give me an idea about how to structure my essay and also think about what sort of articles I can actually include. And there, as you can see, it's going ahead and, you know, writing a lot for you. And again, as we can see right at the bottom, it goes ahead and actually does the referencing uh, as well as the writing, which is pretty, pretty insane um, about how, you know, it's crazy how far we've gotten in regards to technology. Now, the next way that I use AI in order to write my essays is by using it to explain certain concepts that I don't necessarily understand. So for example, this is a paper that I pulled up again about the uh, gut microbiota. Let's say I'm reading this article and there's a sentence that I just don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. For example, if we go to the current methods here of this particular article, let's say this first, um, you know, this first couple of sentences, I just don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. What I will do is I'll copy and paste it into the AI. So I'll say, please um, explain this to me. And then I'll paste in what I don't understand. And then I'll click enter. And then what is really, really cool is that it will take what you've given it, the sentences you don't understand, and it will actually try and explain to you in a way that you might be able to understand. So if we look at exactly what it's doing here, it's taking what I uh, paste, uh, copy and pasted and it's expanding on that and really breaking it down for you. This is super helpful because I'm sure you guys have been in the position where you're um, you know, doing some reading um, for your homework or for your essays and you just don't understand this particular concept this AI software will do that for you. So I'm not gonna you know, bore you guys by reading this out, but you can go ahead and literally pause the screen and you'll see how it took this, you know, two or three sentences that I didn't understand and expanded on this and actually explained it in a very, very good way. That's the next way that I use um, AI. The next way that I use AI to write my essays is to summarize content. So let's say, for example, this over here is something that I wrote myself, right? So let's say this was on Microsoft Word. I wrote it myself, but let's say I'm a few words over the word count, or I just want to, you know, um, make a certain section of my work more concise. Um, what you can do is go on to here and say, um, summarize um, this content. And then you can literally just paste in whatever you wrote yourself. And then amazingly, what the AI will do is it'll take what you've inputted and it will summarize that and make it a lot more concise. 
Again, I would not you know, just copy and paste what the AI has given me, but what I will use it for is to give myself an idea about how I can go ahead and make this more concise myself. So again, it's not a copy and paste job, but it'll give me more of an idea about making my content of my work a lot more concise. So let's see um, how it does this. Okay, so amazingly, it's taken these four paragraphs that I gave um, to it, and it summarized it all into one paragraph, which is absolutely amazing. And again, it just gives you an idea about how you can do that for yourself. The next way that I use AI to write my essays is by rephrasing sentences and words for me. And again, I'm not using it as a copy and paste job, but it's giving me an idea about how I can rephrase that myself. So let's say, for example, um, in this particular paper, I was reading the introduction and I really, really like this one sentence, but I just can't work out how I can rephrase it myself to include it in my essay and to avoid plagiarism. Then what I would do is, again, copy and paste it into, um, oops, I'll copy and paste it into um, the AI software. And what I'll type is rephrase this for me and then I'll paste in um, what I want rephrased and let's see what it comes up with and as we can see again it has gone ahead and rephrased this one sentence for me so I can get an idea about how I can do that for myself and therefore put that into my essay. So rephrasing sentences, rephrasing paragraphs, it's super, super cool because again, if you're stuck and you're reading an article and you don't know how to rephrase it yourself, you can get some ideas from the AI software. One way that I also use this AI software to help me write essays is to change the tone of a, um, of a given paragraph or given sentences. So say, for example, this is something I wrote myself. So this is literally coming from my own essay that I wrote myself. Let's say I want it to sound more scientific, right? So I feel like this is not, um, you know, scientific enough. It's too lay or in too much uh, layman's terms or too colloquial. What I'll do is I'll copy and paste this again into my AI, AI software and I'll say, make this sound more scientific. And then I'll paste in what I wanted over there. And what it will do is it will literally take what you've written and make it sound even more scientific and make you sound smarter, essentially. Again, not a copy and paste job, but it'll give me an idea about how I might be able to change what I've written to make it more scientific and make it sound more attractive. And you can go ahead and see what it's doing here already. Uh, alternatively, what you can do, if you feel like you want it to be, um, you know, in less um, formal terms, if you want it to be more colloquial, then again, you can go ahead and paste it here saying, uh, make this sound more colloquial and um, paste it in there. And again, it'll do the opposite job for you, make it sound, um, you know, more, um, less scientific, essentially. And that's super, super helpful. And as you can see over here, guys, it's already writing a paragraph in very your layman's terms. So Mark Voter is a fancy word for the bunch of tiny living things that make themselves, um, you know, whatever. That sentence is very, very colloquial. And that's another use that you can use it for. If you're someone who doesn't necessarily have the best grammar or best spelling, or maybe you're, um, you know, you don't speak English as your first language, then AI is really good at helping fix your sentences, fix your grammar and fix your spelling. And also it can also uh, fix your structure which is absolutely amazing. So for example, let's say I wrote this myself. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of spelling mistakes. It doesn't make sense. Um, what you can do is go to the beginning and say, fix my grammar and uh, spelling. And then copy and paste what you've uh, written in there. And as you can see, it's going ahead and fixing all of the, um, the sentences that I made and all the grammar mistakes I made and all the spelling as well. So this is completely perfect. As you can see here, there were so many mis uh, spelling mistakes, which is crazy. So when I write an essay and I want it uh, checked by the AI software, I'll literally copy and paste it in here and ask it to fix my spelling and grammar as well. And the final way that I use AI software to write my essays is just general questions. So if there's a question that comes to my mind and I want answered, for example, what is a synonym um, for camera? And I just want a synonym, you know, I'm rephrasing a sentence uh, from one of the articles that I wrote and I can't think of a synonym. I'll just type that in and it'll give me photographic equipment, digital camera, video camera, camcorder. And that's a, that's a perfect example of a general question that I might ask the AI software. Similarly, let's say I have a general question like what is Harvard referencing? Um, if this is something I don't necessarily know, I'll type it in there. And again, it'll give me an answer and help me answer all of these general questions that I have when writing my essays. It's not a game changer, but it does save a lot of time. All of these things that I've given you guys, it does save you a little time here and there. And when you're writing a full essay, Essay, that can save a huge bunch of time and as you guys can see over here it's already answering my question and explaining to me what harvard referencing is this is exactly how i've been using the ai software to help me write my essays 
And there is so many applications about how this can really help you with writing in general. For example, when I'm writing my YouTube videos and I'm scripting my YouTube content, sometimes I run out of ideas or I want to make something sound more concise. And again, I'll use these same principles to help me with writing my YouTube videos. Similarly, when I write my uh, weekly email newsletters, which you can subscribe to by clicking the link down below, by the way, when I'm writing my weekly newsletters, if I need some inspiration about how to say something, maybe I'm lost for words. Again, my AI software can really help me give me an idea about how I can write um, these um, newsletters myself. Be careful, use it in the right way. Don't use it to write an entire essay for you. Be careful of plagiarism. Plagiarism can pick up AI software. So don't use this to replace your skill and your creativity. But if you actually use it in the right way, you'll be really surprised about how much this AI software can help you with writing your essays. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. And if it has in any way or form, please drop it a like and leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you never miss another upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.